Hey everyone, welcome back to another potato reset recipe video. Welcome to my channel. My name is Miranda and I'm so happy you clicked on this video. If you are returning, so happy you are joining me again for another video. Now this is part two of my 10 day potato reset. I will link part one down in the description box below. Plus you will find many more recipe videos. And if you're interested, you can check out the Mary's minis that I've done. I'll link those recipe videos in the description box below to give you some inspiration. Recently, I did a 10 day potato reset and I said that this in my first video as well as I will say it again I did not do this for weight loss it is intended for either weight loss or a taste bud reset I actually did it for neither I'm just so intrigued by the Mary's minis and the potato resets plus I feel like for my creative side it does really help me to get creative in my own kitchen so I'm sharing these recipes with you today because these are some of the meals that I ate on my 10 day potato reset with of course meals from the first recipe video as well. But these are not all of the meals I ate throughout the week between the two videos. I also just had some plain baked potatoes and veggies and just really simple meals, but these were just some of the recipes or ideas I came up with that I thought would be good inspiration for you all as well. Let's jump into the first recipe. Like I said, I have three wonderful recipes to share with you and I have to just say, spoiler alert, one of these recipes is the best thing I've ever made and my husband absolutely loves it. So I hope you do as well. And if you make any of today's recipes, I hope you take me over on Instagram and let me know what you think. Recently, I feel like I've been creating some of my all-time favorite recipes, and this video has three of them. So garlic, lemon, smashed potatoes. I took these little creamer potatoes. I got the mixed colored ones because I thought they were pretty. And you saw these in my last video as well. This is what I did with the other half of the bag. Threw them on a baking sheet with some parchment paper, popped them in the oven at 450 degrees for 25 minutes. At the 25 minute mark, I took them out and I smashed them with just like a recycled jar. And then I used that jar again to make a lemon garlic sauce. Super good, but I'm going to tell you just like I did in the other Potato Reset and my Mary's minis, I still add seasonings because I once was a person who didn't use seasonings. And even though you can use this as a taste bud reset, honestly, for me, it's not about waste, weight loss. It's not about like resetting my taste buds. It's about finding creativity. And when I eat nothing but potatoes for 10 days, I get really creative, but also I don't feel stressed out about having tons of ingredients on hand. It's just like so simple and so easy. So like I said, the sauce is just garlic, lemon juice, and I did add a, about a tablespoon of Mustard. Now you could eliminate any of these seasonings if you are going strict by the rules on either a Mary's Mini or a Potato Reset. Take what works for you and leave what doesn't. I think that is the best way to live a whole food plant-based lifestyle. I really am like 90-10. Well, 90% of my meals are whole food plant-based and then about 10% I have some vegan junk food or vegan alternatives and that makes me really happy. So these potatoes, you're gonna pop back into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. You might have to bake them a little bit longer just depending on how hot your oven cooks or how fast it cooks. I cook with a gas range and it just cooks really, really quickly. I stick them on the top rack. And when they come out, they're nice and crunchy on the outside and super soft in the inside. They're like a mashed potato fry, but with the skin on and they're just so delicious. I hope you give these a try. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you're a dill pickle fan. I am, I'm German heritage and I love all kinds of pickles. Homemade are the best. My grandma used to make the absolute best potato salad and the best pickles in the entire world. What I did is I took some Yukon potatoes, scrubbed them up and put them in a pot and boiled them. It takes me about eight minutes on my stove to get a nice soft potato. Russets sometimes take nine to 12, just depending how many I have. And then I took garlic, kosher dills, and some dill pickle mustard from Trader Joe's. If you do not have a Trader Joe's near you, don't fret. This is just a yellow mustard with dill weed and some pickle juice and relish. So you can totally make that at home for way cheaper. 
go ahead and mix the ingredients. And then I have to eat my potato salad cold, so I went ahead and put these in containers, popped them in the fridge, and had them for lunch the next day with a large salad. One thing I didn't show in this video is my sides to my starches, but I kept it super simple the last few days of the 10 day potato reset and I did zucchini, green beans, and large salads and it was just the perfect thing for me. This recipe is by far, I think, the best thing I've ever made. It's like Thanksgiving in a little nugget. So you're gonna take sweet potatoes. It does not matter what kind, but if you have a Trader Joe's near you, I highly recommend grabbing these Japanese sweet potatoes or finding a store near you that might have them. Whole Foods sometimes has them, Sprout sometimes has them. They're really good. I do peel them when making mashed potatoes though because the skin is a little bit funky to me, but you can leave the skin on if you like it. I did put these in my pressure cooker for nine minutes and I lost the clip of me making the mashed potatoes, but if you've been around my channel for a while, you've seen this so many times. I take a little bit of the cooking water once the potatoes are finished, add it to the potatoes, and then I whip it with a hand mixer. You can also smash them if you have a potato smasher. I don't have one, but I think I need to get one because I think it would be so much less cleanup. And then I added about two tablespoons of cinnamon, and it was so good. You could eat them just as mashed potatoes if you want to, but what I do is I put them in a Tupperware container and pop them in my refrigerator overnight, and then I take them out and slice them and put them in my air fryer. So these are a little bit mushier and not quite as starchy as mashed potato fries, and you will find that video linked down in the description box below if you want to check that out. But these are so good. They still get super crunchy in the air fryer. I did cut them into nuggets instead of fries since they're a little bit stickier, by the way. Um, but you're putting them in your air fryer at about 400 degrees for about 12 minutes. If you don't have an air fryer, no big deal. Pop them in your oven on a baking dish with some parchment paper or nonstick spray or whatever you gotta do so that way they don't stick you know, to the pan or burn and you're just gonna probably roast them at about 450, I would say, or 475 degrees on the top rack to really boost that heat and get them really crunchy. But these were so good, so good. My husband loved these. He asked if I would make them for Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving's his favorite holiday, so I know it's like a true love. He loved the meal when he asked for it on his favorite day. And then I actually served these with some maple syrup, and so good, it was like a dessert for dinner, it was just delicious. You have these little crunchy, almost like sweet potato pie bites. Oh, so good. These would be really good with the dessert, even if you wanted to do like a vegan Cool Whip or Whip Topping for Thanksgiving. Just throwing that out there. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Tag me on Instagram if you make this recipe or any of the ones that I shared. You have to try this one out for sure. so much for watching today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you, it encouraged you, and it left you with some ideas so you can recreate some wonderful potato recipes on your plant-based journey. Have an awesome day. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already because of course I have so many cheap, easy, budget-friendly, and whole food plant-based recipes that are always posted every single week here on my channel. Have an awesome day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.